so today is the GCSE results day. Um, so are you pleased? Obviously you got the results before the children. Are yes, you pleased yes. with them? Yes, well it's, yeah, very pleased as always. Um, children often get what they deserve and they've worked really, really hard and the staff have worked very hard with them um, and they've done astonishingly well. Um, it's another impressive year of GCSE results for St. Clair's. Uh, we got 90% of our students passing five GCSEs at the top grades. 98% uh, of all our children passed at least one top grade result and 100% passed GCSEs. So it is wonderful news. Um, and uh, there's some subjects who have really improved themselves this year. We've got seven subjects that are now above 90% A star to C, including biology, chemistry and physics, um, and including subjects like business studies and PE. Uh, and we're really pleased, I have to say. Um, but as with everything, uh, you evaluate. and it's, it's a, We're in a transformational period, a transition, if you like, uh, because the government are now looking at um, up, up in the results and up in the grade boundaries and making sure that um, uh, children get uh, uh, appropriate results. So our focus um, for the future is going to be on getting as many children as possible the new EBAC qualification. That's improved this year, so we're also pleased about that. Uh, but um, our maths results um, are very impressive. Uh, we've got 80% of our children an A star to C in maths. Uh, and English has done quite well, but um, I'll come on to in a moment that there are a few issues around the English results this year, which is a bit of a national issue, which is still to be resolved. Because um, you were saying all of that within, within saying how successful you've been, so is there yeah. a tribute to the staff and the parents? Oh, I mean, it's always about teamwork. It's always about how well the staff work together as a team and how hard they work on behalf of the children. But you can't do it without the children engaging in that and working really hard and putting their effort in and their endurance and resilience through the process. But without the support of parents, you'll have nothing. And so at the end of the day, it's always about a bit, bit of a team effort. And uh, we're very proud at St. Clair's that we, we genuinely have that every year and a great atmosphere in the school that generates ongoing improvements in results. So it's the GCSE results day, your head boy, your head girl, what did you get? How did it go? It went really well, I'm so happy. A, a stars and two B's. Yeah. yeah, I got one B, uh, nine A's and an A star, so like Harley I'm really pleased with today. I don't think it's done any better. It seems amazing. How on earth did you get there? Did you work really, really hard, I imagine? Yeah, just studied, revised, listened to the teachers, and they, they were brilliant. They gave me a lot of extra help, and if I asked for it, and I had great, great support from our family as well. Yeah, like Kylie said, the teachers were so supportive. Even if you didn't need help, they're always there to offer you advice and support. They've been there before, so they know exactly what to do. But like like Kylie, revised hard, got a lot of support from my parents as well. So. Good mix all around really. It seems silly, I've got in my mind, are you pleased? But it sort of comes across on camera that you're overwhelmed. So what's the next step? Are you going on to college? Is and yeah, university? I've got sick form to go to West Cliff High School for girls, so let's go down there later and drop in my results. And what are you hoping to be in the future? Are you gonna to go to like university and yeah, go to university and study pharmacy and become a pharmacist. Yeah, I'm gonna to go to Palmer's College and uh, there I'll do economics, so Hopefully going to university to study economics as well and whatever that degree gets me I'll, I should be happy with. So. I imagine you're both very good at science then, so is that the one subject you were pleased with? Or? Yeah, I'm, I was so happy. Science has been my passion. I, I kind of like found, found that I love science in about year nine, so and I've worked and worked and I can't read all those stars in here. <laughs> yeah, my, probably my most pleased subject I'd probably say is maths. I mean, I've got my A star, my only A star. So. Uh, I was, uh, that's the one I really wanted as well. I knew I'd put a lot of extra effort into maths over the past year. So it's nice to see the, the A stars reward for that hard work. You've done amazingly well. A stars are very hard to grab and you seem to have got quite a collection on just that one bit of paper. So big congratulations to you both and I hope everything goes well in the future. Thank you. Thanks very much. Cheers.